It's arguably the most dangerous job you can get as a fighter pilot, and it's got nothing to do with engaging enemy aircraft. The suppression of enemy air defenses, or the wild weasel mission as we often call it here in the US, is as close as you can get to being a Wild West gunfighter in a modern day tactical aircraft. Let's talk about what makes this job so tough and why the US tends to excel at it in today's Crash Course. The suppression of enemy air defenses is an essential part of America's air warfare doctrine. Or really, it's an essential part of America's warfare doctrine in general. Just about every part of America's way of war calls for having air supremacy. And that doesn't just mean stopping enemy fighters from operating in the airspace overhead, it also means taking out enemy air defenses that might stop you from operating in the airspace overhead as well. And that's why the US invests heavily in specialized aircraft, weapon systems, and training for the Wild Weasel mission set. Now, the US has used a variety of different aircraft for the suppression of enemy air defense role over the years, including F-4G Wild Weasels back in the Vietnam era. After that, we transitioned to F-16s, and today, we use the F-35. Now, Wild Weasel pilots train extensively on how to engage enemy air defenses safely, but it's still a very dangerous job. The rule basically calls for flying directly at enemy air defenses and waiting for them to activate their targeting radar arrays to paint a bead on you or your wingmen. Once those arrays are online, Wild Weasel pilots launch anti-radiation or radar hunting missiles like the AGM-88 Harm or high-speed anti-radiation missile. Now the AGM-88 Harm has been the Wild Weasel's bread and butter missile since before I was born. This 13-foot, 8-inch, 800-pound weapon can travel at speeds as high as Mach 2.9 and has a range in excess of 30 miles. It uses a fixed antenna seeker that hones in on the electromagnetic waves that are sent out by radar arrays. So when the radar comes online, it gives these harm missiles a trail to follow back to their source. However, in recent years, the US Air Force and Navy have started fielding the AGM-88C, or AARGMER, which stands for the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile extended range. Now the AARGMER is designed to be carried internally by the F-35A and F-35C. It's a bit too big for the F-35B. And this weapon will be a game changer for the Wild Weasel mission set, because according to some reporting, it's got an effective range of some 160 miles. That is huge, especially when it's been reported that air defense systems like Russia's S-400 can only target F-35s when they're they're within 20 miles of their targeting array. But let's not just take my word for it, let's talk to an expert. I recently sat down with F-35 pilot Hazard Lee, who cut his teeth flying 82 combat missions in the F-16. Now, Hazard spent more than three years as a Wild Weasel pilot, and he has a lot to say about just how challenging this mission set is. So let's turn it over to him. I, I think learning the suppression of enemy air defense mission is as complicated as every other mission combined that we do so that's what i tell new students but it's just so complex when you're going against an enemy integrated air defense system you know these these systems a lot of people think it's just this one versus one cage match but you're going against a a nation that has tied everything in together and so your job as a a wild weasel pilot is to figure out how to pick that system apart and so it's really complicated to do, and it, it takes a lot of uh, studying and learning. And then at the end of the day, you have to uh, to, to go out there and, and face these systems. And these systems are just incredible um, that you're fighting against because they don't have to worry about weight. Um, they don't have to be able to, to fly. So the missiles are far faster than the missiles that you're carrying. They can go uh, a lot further. And so you're you're out there poking the bear and, uh, and trying to take them down. And so in the F-16, especially, that was that was a pretty risky mission. F-35, we have a lot better technology, so it's much more uh, capable against these systems. But um, you can see the importance in playing out in Ukraine. Um, you know, Russia did not really have that capability 
And you've seen that they have not established air superiority, which is critical. So people think, you know, just enemy aircraft out there. But no, you have to take out these surface to air missile sites that can reach out really, really far. Otherwise, your transport aircraft can't go in. Your uh, ISR intelligence surveillance reconnaissance aircraft can't go in. They all, all have to be hundreds of miles away where they can't take good pictures. They can't bring in troops and, and resupply people. So it's a critical, critical mission. And uh, not many uh, squadrons do that. Although the F-35, that's kind of our bread and butter now.